have one entire YouTube video just trying to hook up a set of forks. The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through so we got to get those forks out and that and bring them ball with. You want to put the forks in the bucket? Back to solid ground. Yeah, I get up. Let's go see what Tim's up to. Uh, you were bringing the fuel truck. No, I'm gonna bring this one. In case we gotta haul it or something, it takes too long. Okay. We can get fuel in BP. Get fuel on the way? Yeah. All right, so we gotta stack snow. Where is our bucket? You gonna use this one? Um, you could choose the sledge, the Volvo, one of the skid loaders. But you want to take this thing? Why? Because I want to see it, how far back we can get snow with the tracks. Who drove it last? Sam, I think. Keys not. Sam, I am. That's where I've always kept it. Hmm. Hopefully he didn't leave the key in it. Nope, key's not in it. Hopefully he didn't take the key with him. That's why we leave them on site. That's why we leave them in the equipment. Pretty sure Sam drove it. So, great. So Sam's got the key somewhere. Where the heck would he put it? So this was dead last time? This? No, the Volvo. Oh, and he parked it bass backwards. Parked it, chubbed it in there backwards, and didn't flip the didn't flip the uh, kill switch kill switch off, and then uh, the plug-in got pulled out from inside the building. So the thing it was 20 degrees out, and it wouldn't start. No. <sighs> and then the the other the the old skid steer that's sitting right next to it. Yeah. The 185. That's not same, same deal. Not plugged in. Just fired up. Yeah. Same. Oh. Hey man, I'm looking for the keys for the ASV here. We're out here right now to move snow with it, and we don't have any other keys. All right, he said he's gonna run them down, but we don't. I don't know if we have time for that to wait. So, um, yeah, we're just right at the plow site. Do we have any other spare keys for it, or is that it? Uh, I could go look for a spare key. I don't think I got one. I think they did actually give me an extra key, but I think they're both on the same. Yeah, they're probably both on there. There's two keys on the same thing. Huh. Yeah. yeah, you can screw it down right now. They'd be fine. Or if you have a lunch or something, I'll wait for it. Yeah. All right. Doesn't always go as planned, does it? Why, why does he have the key with him? I don't, I don't know why he put him in his pocket. Want to go run and grab a lunch? 
Well, I don't know if I want to ride anywhere with you being all sick. Oh, dude, it's no big deal. It's just you don't have any energy to even move. Otherwise, that, you know, you're fine. Everything hurts, too. But otherwise, it's no big deal. Just uh, everything's good. Just dude, like all morning, I'd wake up, and then I'd fall asleep for an hour. And wake up, fall asleep for an hour. Just yesterday, I was working at the rental house. Yeah. Trying to get, you know, just everything's a task. Trying to sell the house, and I had to lay down on the floor, and I just laid down on the floor. And <laughs> I didn't have any. I'm like, I'm scrubbing stuff. I'm like, I'm just gonna lay down. I'm gonna my jacket. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're tired. Oh. And they upped the forecast to 8 to 12 this weekend. Uh, hopefully I'm feeling better because that's going be, to be long. <laughs> and we're broke down. This one stills not repaired. Oh, should I try calling Brad? He called, he texted me back. Sorry, I've been lie. busy. Late. Yeah, I'm oh, like, good. but then he never said when he was coming out to fix it. I thought he was in jail, sick, or dead. Or I know, and then I'm dude, like, well, dude, know. I'm glad to hear you're okay. And then yep. he never said, oh, I'll be out tomorrow to fix it. Or anything like that. Have you paid him? When's the last time you paid him? I don't him? owe him any money. He likes money. Yeah, but I don't owe him anything. I don't I don't want to pay him money I don't owe him. You just give him money. Just extra money. So just just know. hand money over. Here's some money. How long does it take Sam to get here? He's over at the um, new soccer stadium that they're building. Uh, off of 94 there in Snelling. Hey Sam. Hey, he'll be down there in 15 minutes. There you go. Sounds good. You, you got the you got the key with you, Sam? Yeah. I was gonna drop it was in my coat. I was gonna drop it off on uh, my way after work. I realized I had it last night. Yeah. Uh, I'll just drop it off and go home. Okay. You're where? The in Snelling? Oh, you're at the soccer stadium? Yeah, the new soccer stadium. Yep. I wonder. Oh yeah, you're not very far away. Yeah, no, I'll be, yeah, I just look it up on my GPS, it'll be like 15 minutes. All right. right now. Awesome. Okay, we'll see ya. Bye. Bye. So at least we were able to locate the key and Sam is going to be bringing it out. Now, we could just grab a different skid loader. Um, we did actually use this Volvo right with this exact setup once before to stack snow and it works good for vertical stacking, but we today need to actually drive up into the piles and these winter tires and this setup isn't going to allow us to do that. In fact, the ASV is about the only thing we have that can actually drive on top of the snow. It didn't take as long as we thought for Sam to get the keys out to us at least. Right. Took him about five minutes. So, so have you ever tried to start that thing? I've never, no. Uh, I've never let me show it. you how to do it. Golly, this is slippery up here. <laughs> there, am I doing something wrong? No, nah, just it's got to cycle through a couple times and then it'll go, I'm it'll do the, it on its own. I'll shut the air off before I. Yeah, I always power down all the auxiliary. Yeah. So you don't waste the battery till it gets fired up. Yep. All right. So glow plugs are gone. Yeah. It'll shut when the glow plugs shut off. Then it'll allow you to start. How do we get it? That's it. She's and she starts no matter what the temperature is. bad mouthing that's a fact it's stupid we've had problems with it starting we had to jump it when it was turning over we had to jump it just to give it an extra then boost I jump it, it goes, it's got the, the, I think they tested the battery I, I think if we swap the battery out which looks like a to do on that thing but yeah if you swap the battery out I think, yeah, maybe it's got it what's with the what's it. with the potty mouth 
I potty mouthing? Oh, God, you've been potty mouthing it all morning. You get a little tiny flu bug, and all of a sudden, Captain Swirly Cheek caps into, turns into Captain Toilet Mouth. I didn't realize it. All right, you gonna disconnect it, or you want me to do it? I can do it. I'm just gonna let it warm up a second. All right. So since we're gonna be stacking snow, we're actually gonna be using the dirt bucket, but to get to where we need to stack the snow, we got a whole bunch of dumpsters that are in the way, so we also need to bring the forks. The unfortunate truth is the forks are right behind them, buried in that snow bank, and what one more thing is, is there's actually a bucket underneath the forks that we don't know about. So it should be kind of interesting to see how well it goes trying to get those forks out from the frozen bucket from the frozen snowbank. You're locked. So inside that dirt bucket, there's a little lip and you can use that lip to actually pick things up almost like a very static thumb. It's not the greatest scenario, but it actually works. And if he can get that bucket and that lip over the top of the forks, he should be able to scoop them forks right up. But it doesn't go quite the way we wanted it. Oh, they're in a bucket. I didn't even see that. Hey! They're in a bucket. I see there's a bucket in there. Yeah. Now normally this would be about a three second operation, but of course it's winter time, so nothing goes the way you want it to. Gotta get the top of the forks into that little crease. Oh. Oh, almost! Almost! <laughs> is there a hook on the inside of it? What? Is, there, is the frame in this bucket got like a. Is it smooth or is there a bevel in there? No, that's, there's a bevel. You're trying oh, to use. You should be able to hook it, right? So you're trying to use the bevel to grab on, but. Not gonna be enough, huh? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think there's enough hook on the forks to grab with, actually. Alright. He did say he would do it. We got to bring the forks with because there's a dumpster on site and we may need to move the dumpster and he wants to fork it instead of just bucking it.
think you're hooked? Oh yeah, you're hooked. You're hooked. Man, that hooked fast. So now this for summertime, he put his forks up against the curb, flick the back up, and then just scoop underneath it. But because of the snow, you can't really get the forks to go up against the curb the way you want it to. So now this turns into be another challenge that would otherwise be pretty easy if it was sunny out in 70. That would be nice. It doesn't want to cooperate, you guys. Try to do in the winter is way harder. Slip those paths are just like frozen, slippery, buried in snow, can't see nothing. He's trying to get the forks on the curb and then to flip it up. Nothing, them forks don't. I, I don't know. I that's guess just, I'm not used to this machine yet. So. I was just telling the guys, that's just winter. Yeah. And nothing you do in the winter ever wants to cooperate. Yeah, summertime, you know where the curb is, you go whoop, just give it a little pop, and you got the yep. forks in your pocket. It takes yeah, two you put seconds. The, so what you're talking about is you put the forks up against the curb, you flip the back up, you slide right in underneath, bada bing, bada boom. Winter time, can't be that easy. One entire YouTube video just trying to hook up a set of forks. <laughs> what the flip? Now what are you doing? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what he's trying to say, he's trying to make it look fancy for you guys. I wouldn't buy it. Okay, here's the boring way. Golly, look, it actually works. The boring way actually works. Disagree with Tim because he actually reads some of the comments in the on YouTube and we don't want to hurt his feelings. He's a very sensitive man and he's got a baby on the way, so he's even more sensitive. He's got sympathy sen sensitivity for his wife, so and I'm really sick today. <laughs> and he's really sick today. Alright, are you are, hey are you ready to go down the road? Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. She come out of break of night. 
Leaving no traces around, around She's trying to free, she's trying to free her reckless heart So the only place we have in this entire complex to pile snow happens to be directly behind these two dumpsters. Well, that's at least what the management company thought, but the people that actually live in the Townhome Association, they weren't so keen on that idea. So after we get a nice big pile of snow stockpiled behind the dumpsters, we get a visit from one of the Townhome members. It's the winter that just keeps on giving. If it's dirt. What do you mean? Did you find it? Like you can build a ramp and climb on the snow pretty good with this. Oh yeah. 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 There's. You can't do that with a, with a tire machine. Nothing else. This. This. And we couldn't do this with our 180, our, our other bobcat. No, yeah, but I, I thought I could stack this pretty dang high when I'm off. Well, we got 20 inches of snow coming, so yeah. we got. I don't know how far we can go in here, but. All I know is behind the dumpsters. Well, we're kind of behind the dumpsters. I'd, I'd make plenty of room because otherwise this whole parking lot's going to get full of snow. Well, there's nowhere to put it. Right. right. Uh, we got cars coming in and oh, out. This place Anna is always busy. And a FedEx. All right, guys. You're just catching this. We're out of space. That was close. <laughs> That's one big snowball. We're out of space on our site. There's the roofing guys are up there trying to clear ice dams. And this site is, there's nowhere to put snow anymore. So we've got to start moving it into parking spaces. And we've got a 20 inch event coming. That's what she said. We thought we could pile snow behind the dumpster, but then some lady we've never met before came over and said, you can't put snow there. So we didn't put snow there. I, I don't know where it's going to all go. This is gonna be interesting. Well, all right, you guys, we ended up taking out a couple parking spaces because the company didn't want to haul it out and we had no other options, so we did what we could do. Well, a lot of things didn't go quite the way we planned and I'm gonna guess that sometimes happens for you guys. I would love to hear your stories. 
Isn't there days when you just get up and you think to yourself, it prob would have probably been better if I would have slept all day long than went to work? I've had those days, and I'm guessing some of you guys would have had them too, and I'd love to hear from you guys. Hey, and while you're here, do me a favor and check out these two videos right here. In fact, this video is going to be my latest video, and I'm gonna do something cool. This video over here is supposedly going to be optimized just for you. So check out these two videos while you're here, and one last thing, guys. God bless and go get them.